Hey guys, and welcome to the final installment of the origin of Dota 2 spells and items in terms of Warcraft 3. Today, we're going to be looking at all of the items in Warcraft 3 and how they were transferred into Dota. You'll notice a lot of names remained almost identical, and the item abilities are exactly the same. If you haven't seen the previous videos, uh, talk about the origin from all of the units of the different races of Warcraft. Look on my YouTube or on Reddit, they'll be there. Anyway, on with the show. Now I'll go through this video a bit faster than the others, so please feel free to pause from time to time and read all of the descriptions of the items as I mouse over them. A lot of them will be so similar that I just won't go over them too much. To start, we'll look at sentry wards. When used, this, this item places a ward on the ground. Now this ward both has true sight and regular sight. This sentry ward's item is the basis of both sentries and observers in Dota 2. Belt of Giant Strength becomes Belt of Strength. Boots of Quelphalas became Band of Elven Skin. Boots of Speed, same thing. Circlet of Nobility is now just called Circlet. Cloak of Flames is what gives my hero that glow. It damages nearby units. This item is the basis of Radiance. Gauntlets of Ogre Strength became Gauntlets of Strength. Mantle of Intelligence, same item. Medallion of Courage. The item in Dota is a, an armor item, but Medallion of Courage in Warcraft 3 increases the strength and intelligence of the hero by 4. The Pendant of Mana, which increases mana by 250, is the basis of Energy Booster. The Periapt of Vitality, which increases the base hero health, is the basis of Vitality Booster. Ring of Regeneration, pretty much the same. The Robe of the Magi stayed the same. Rune Braces decreases uh, magic damage dealt to the hero. This is the basis of the passive given to Cloak as well as Hood of Defiance. The Scourge Bone Chimes holds a level 1 Vampire Cora. This is the inspiration for Veladimir's Offering. Sulfurs of Agility remain the same. Sobi Mask was transformed into Sage's Mask. The Staff of Teleportation allows you to teleport to any allied unit. This was the basis of Boots of Travel. The Talisman of Evasion pretty much stayed the same. Healing Salve. When cast on an ally or yourself, it heals you over time and is dispelled by enemy damage. This is the basis of Salve. Clarity Potion, almost the same as Clarity now in Dota 2. Mechanical Clitter is the basis of the Courier. When used, it creates a controllable unit which you can move around the map. This unit in Dota 2 has been given the backpack ability which allows it to carry items. Moonstone, when used, transforms day into night and is the basis of Nightstalker's ultimate. Vampiric Potion, when used, grants bonus damage and lifesteal. This spell is the base for Broodmother's ultimate. Scroll of Healing can heal nearby ally units for some amount of HP. This effect was given to Mechanism. Scroll of Mana gives nearby units an amount of mana. This effect was given to Arcane Boots and Arcane Ring. The Glyph of Fortification, when picked up, boosts the armor of all allied buildings. This name was the inspiration of the Glyph of Fortification, now you see in Dota 2. Perfect. Amulet of Spell Shield is a passive item that blocks one negative spell every 40 seconds. This item is transformed into Lincoln's Sphere. The Scroll of Town Portal allows you to teleport to an allied town hall. In Dota 2, this restriction was changed to any allied building. What's cool about the Scroll of Town Portal is you can select an area near the town hall to target, instead of on the town hall itself. For example, 
in the town hall was here at the Mountain King. I can teleport here. It doesn't have to teleport right next to it. This is the basis of TP scrolls. In Warcraft 3, armor items are called rings of protection, and they have different armor bonus values. All armor items in Dota 2 are based off of the ring of protection bonus armor. This just means that you add the ring of protection uh, passive and you change the armor value. The ancient Jagero of Endurance carries a level 1 Endurance Aura. This is the basis of Drums of Endurance. Scepter of Mastery, when cast on an enemy unit, takes control of it permanently. This is the basis of Helm of Domination. When picked up, both the Tome of Greater Experience and the Tome of Experience grant experience to the hero. This is the basis of the Tome of Experience in Dota 2. I'm coming through. The Potion of Speed doesn't exist in Dota 2, but its effect, granting the user maximum movement speed for an amount of time, was transformed into Haste Trip. Hold him away! Move it! I'm coming through! Brilliant! The Orb of Venom stayed the same. The Orb of Fire is an interesting one. It grants the user splash damage if they're melee. This splash damage though is only the 5 damage bonus from the splash. So it was the inspiration of Battle Fury, but not its basis. Orb of Corruption reduces the armor of an enemy you hit and is the basis of Desolator. Ironwood Branch, increasing the strength of the hero by 1, has been transformed into Ironwood Branch which increases all stats by one. Helm of Battlethirst allows you to attack faster but take more damage. This is the basis of Mask of Madness. I'm coming through. Goblin Landmines allows you to place a mine on the ground. This is the basis for taking these mines. Move it. I'm coming through. Gem of True Seeing was transformed into Gem of True Sight both granting true sight to the wearer. Dust of Appearance remains the same, and when you purchase it, it still came in packets of two, all the way back in Warcraft 3. Just like the armor bonus for Ring of Protection, the Claws of Attack plus number can be changed into any number bonus, which grants bonus damage to the wearer. All bonus damage values on items in Dota 2 or based off of the Claws of Attack bonus damage upgrade. When used, the Replenishment Potion will restore health and mana to the hero over a set amount of time. This buff can be dispelled by enemy damage. Although the item doesn't exist in Dota 2, its ability was transformed into the Rune of Regeneration. The Book of the Dead summoned some skeleton warriors to fight by your side and was the inspiration of the Book of Necromancy. The Ankh of Reincarnation grants the wearer reincarnation. Once you die, the Ankh disappears, but you come back to life after a couple seconds. This is the basis for Aegis of Immortality, dropped by Roshan. Cheese in Warcraft 3 has no abilities, it's got no spells or actors, but its icon and its name were the inspiration for Cheese in Dota and Dota 2. Orb of Frost slows an enemy that you attack for a certain amount of time. This slow was given to Scotty. Mask of Death gives you life steal, so when you attack enemies, you heal. This was given to Morbid Mask in Dota 2. Alien's Dagger of Escape grants the wearer a blink. This is given to Blink Dagger. I'm coming through. This is why in Dota 2, the blink item is still a dagger. And that's it. That's all of the spells and items from every unit that I can think of and remember and how they tie in with Dota and Dota 2. And now we've covered all the items. Thank you guys so much for staying with me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this series and maybe I'll see you for something new coming up in the future. Have a good one.